Hey YouTube, today we're gonna fix a rusty metal door jam. Uh, it's down here at the bottom. And uh, I fabricated this one out of 16 gauge steel. But since then I found they're commercially available, which will be a much more professional job. I had to bend this one on a vise using two by fours. This one's professionally made and uh, will look a lot better and I've got two of them to do, and this is 21 inches. It's enough to do two of them. So we're in good shape. Uh, the first thing I'll do is uh, mark this thing with a square and a pencil and cut it off with a grinding wheel. All right, I got it marked well above the rust, and I've got my cutting wheel here. I'll go ahead and cut that off. All right, the old piece came off just fine. Definitely needed to be replaced. So I'm gonna cut the new piece, the same seven inches as here. I'm not gonna put it all the way to the ground, maybe an eighth of an inch up and caulk so that the moisture doesn't wick up. Uh, and I also ground down the edges cause I'm gonna weld this guy in place. And once I get the new piece cut, I'll test fit it and see if any of this concrete needs to be chiseled out. All right, got the new piece fit in really well. So I'm gonna drill a hole to put a lag in right here. Then I'll weld it up here. When I go inside and close the door, I discover that this gap is a little tight right here. And when I further investigate, this jam is not solid. So I'm gonna drill right through here and put another uh, one of these concrete anchors right in there to hold that top part of the jam in place. I'll weld the bottom and then put one down here and that'll hold it. Okay, I've got a coat of uh, rust inhibitor on the inside and a little bit on the outside. And I've got it wedged into place. I'm gonna put a couple of uh, tacks on it and then weld it up. A little flux core welder from Harbor Freight. All right, I skipped a step. After I welded this, I put a little Bondo fiberglass on it and now I'm sanding it down just to uh, cover the weld joint. Okay, a coat of primer and a coat of paint. And that looks a lot better. And it should last a long time with the rust inhibitor underneath the paint. Thanks for watching.